You guys, hi-hat stomp groups. And if you don't know what that is, just think about Steve Gadd and 50 Ways to Leave Your Life. Or Jason McGurr doing this. But of course, they're not limited to these drummers. You'll find plenty of modern examples, including J.D. Beck. And one of my favorites, Ali Bernatchez. But why do you care? And how do you start to do these hi-hat stomp beats? Well, today I'm gonna break it down for you from basic to advanced, show you everything you need to know to get started with hi-hat stomp beats. Stay tuned. Hey dudes, today's lesson is brought to you by me, the 8020 drummer. If you'd like a free transcription of all the exercises in this lesson, just click the link below the video player and tell us where to set. All right, on to the lesson. First, let's talk about the basics of hi-hat stomp grooves. And there are really only three core licks you need to know to get started on these. Let's go. Let's start at the beginning. We're talking about closed hi-hat phrases. There are really three kind of primary rudiments that propagate into everything else. So you can have a foot, hat, snare, you can have a foot, hat, hat, snare, or you can have a foot, hat, snare, snare. The foot, hat, snare. The foot, hat, hat, snare. And the foot, hat, snare, snare. So personally, I use this one less. But a lot of the phrases I make, a lot of the phrases you'll see drummers like Steve Gadd making alternate between that three stroke thing and that four stroke thing, so. So a couple of mechanics. When we're playing the hi-hat with the foot, we wanna make sure that we balance the toe on the foot plate. To open the hat, we push up through the ball of the foot and then we bring the weight of the foot back down. And then we use the toe, like a tiptoe, to keep the hat closed. That's important because we don't want, we want the hat to stay closed so we get a nice crisp. Now let's talk about a couple cool grooves we can make with this. One of them goes like this. End of You're probably wondering, where's the kick drum? Well, you can substitute a kick double, a 16th upbeat into a downbeat for one of these foot hats. So I'll show you. Three, two, four. So you can use the three note version if you want to make a triplet or swung or shuffle version of this groove, which will just sound like. Let's do that more slowly. One, two, three, four. When we come back, we'll talk about a couple more advanced grooves you can make with that choreography. Now we're through the basics. Let's talk about some of the slightly more advanced things you can do with these. I'm gonna give you a couple grooves and a couple concepts I use to improvise. People were asking me questions about that solo video I posted the other week. So let's check those out. Okay, the first groove we wanna make is something that combines the four note group and the three note group. Remember, the four note group and the three note group. So that's gonna sound like this. Three, four. So that's kind of cool. You can throw it into a halftime backbeat. Beep. 
Next way to change up the phrasing, obviously, orchestrate the lead hand to the toms. So with the three note group, So remember our triplet groove. What happens if we orchestrate that around a little? Three, Try that with four. Three, four. Okay, two more little advanced tricks I'm gonna show you. The first is on any note where you're playing an accent with the lead hand, you can play a hand-to-hand -hand accent. That's simpler when you're dealing with triplets. Let's talk about it here. Two, three, four. That's just a little concept you can play with. So when you're going, you can also go, you can do that in 16th notes too, but you probably need to follow it up with a double because you're not going to go, you could, you could go hand to hand and then unaccented, but that's kind of an awkward thing to do. You don't really see kit drummers do that very often. More often you would have a double. So remember, so you throw in a double there. What do you do after that, right? No, kick double. So it would sound like this. Two, three, four. Can also go left to right. Ninety-eight percent sure I stole this from Darian Javon from the Berkeley Chops video. So that would sound like so a lot of the vocabulary. You see when I solo, like in that solo video I posted, that's how I switch hands and get around the drums a lot. Thank you, Darian. It's all that stuff. Okay, finally, when we come back, two famous grooves from two drummers I love that use this hi-hat concept, that's when we come back. Before we go on to the last segment, where I'll show you hi-hat stomp beats from two of my favorite drummers, one of them classic, one of them more modern. Quick reminder, if you guys want a transcription of this lesson, you don't need to do it yourself. Just click the link below the player, enter your email address in on the next page, and we'll send it right to you. All right, on to the last segment. Maybe the most famous hi-hat close type groove ever. Right? Steve Gadd, 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover. Million better videos than mine breaking this down, but I'll play it for you very slowly. Okay. So, what's Steve doing? So he's using two sets of those three notes and then another hat and a kick double. So that's how he gets back to the downbeat. Four. The last kind of advanced left foot closing hi-hat groove, I still haven't figured out what to call these, comes from my friend Ollie Bernaches. 
Okay, so I can't do this as well as Ollie, but basically he's just playing the hats on all the quarters. One, two, three, four. And then he's playing this beat over the top of that. So three. But when I hear Ollie play it, it has this thing. So I think he's a little more sophisticated than he's letting on. I think he's varying the amount that he lets his foot off the hats. He's got a little touch, a little subtlety there. Try it. That's how I hear that. Let's try it a little faster. And you can hear Ollie play grooves like that in places like this. And even though that's a little advanced out of left field, I wanted to showcase that. Check out Ollie's video below. And dudes, that's how you get the gig if the gig is feeling more creative about your playing. Anyway, so that's the lesson, dudes. Hope you enjoyed it, and hope this helps you add a little bit of hi-hat stomp to your vocabulary. Anyway, always enjoy these. See you again real soon in another lesson of the week. <laughs>